So my beautiful people, today I am back with another Elden Ring video and in this video guys I'm going to showcase to you how you can get two easy obtainable S tier weapons that scale with that arcane. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so these pretty little weapons, uh, to be honest guys, I ain't going to let you down by the disappointment that does come with them. We have the Ripple Blade and we also have the Ripple Crescent Halberd. These both guys are S scaling with that Arcane. And as you can see, both ain't even fully leveled up yet. I leveled them up and the Arcane pops to a tier S, which is great. The problem with these weapons is, guys, you can't apply Ashes of War to them. And as you can see, the standard actual special attacks a pretty piss poor we have this little swing here which is absolutely useless besides cutting hedges i guess and then if we use the big old dirty one on my back you just got the standard swing i mean it ain't the worst in the world i mean there are worse uh weapon skills these weapons could have had but when you got an arcane weapon and things that can scale with arcane and some of the great uh ashes of wars you can get is slightly disappointing what i will say is guys what these make is to a great offhand or left-handed melee or arcade melee build weapon have this in your left hand guys and it could come in real handy for your certain build it really is that simple they ain't weapons i will ever uh, use but hey video today guys is not about me it's about you guys it's about you beautiful people so firstly how you get these okay so the first one we're going to check out is this one right here the ripple crescent halberd now this one guys you have to farm so use what you can in regards to buffing that discovery silver tier mask silver scarab helps a ton and even the silver pickled falfy if you have any of them and to farm this efficiently guys there's three of these dudes who actually drop this it's a low drop chance um but hey so if you come up to here the fallen ruins of the lake this is just uh south of the the Ray lucaria uh, academy area so just here guys so let's go here and i'll show you exactly where you can farm through these enemies but yeah it's a low drop chance but it's i had them i didn't even realize i had them already i had them already i got a couple of them actually but yeah okay so from here you want to head to i think it, this point here or that point there it's between these two rocks guys so we're just going to head in this general direction so let's just go in that direction right there yeah i actually think it's the first one so if you come here you will see that there's actually two of the dudes sitting on the floor right here so just kill them just like so just like so and if you come up here guys there's one more at the top if i can climb the rock which i can't because i'm useless so if you come up here guys there's one more right there now if you've used a uh, silver pickled foul feet uh, foul foot even you want to run back to the grace because if you fast travel back to that grace um it wipes the buff so run back there if you've used the silver foul foot if you haven't just fast travel back and run back here and rinse repeat the farm guys so yes it is actually the first uh well building a broken building you come to and they're here simple as that now the ripple blade now this is a little more tricky um it drops where right? actually you can buy it from a vendor called pedia uh, i'll show you where you can locate him now there's a little twist to this so it's actually it's located right there within carrier manor but you have to come around to actually get to him so carrier manor clear this shit all out you'll come to loretta here who's a boss if you haven't been here already you'll have to clear out uh, this boss to gain access to this area but once you clear out the boss guys you can run around come and do run his quest line if you want to that's cool but this is where we need to get to to come and see pidia so i'm going to mark there i'm just going to fast travel to in fact we'll fast travel to this one here this is loretta's grace point which you kill Loretta. Now, what can actually happen here, guys, is 
there's another vendor who you interact with or another NPC you interact with upon you doing and starting Rani's quest line. Like I said, Rani's quest line is started here. Um, the vendor is called Saluvis, I believe his name is. S-E-L-U-V-I-S. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But either way, you actually come to Saluvis Rise and you meet him here. Now, this guy dies as a part of um, Rani's quest line. When he dies, Pidia's servants kill Pidia. So if you've already completed Rani's quest line, you will still have to come to this spot to grab his bell bearing. That's what I had to do. I come here after I completed Rani's quest line and um, he was dead. He was dead. But I grabbed this bell bearing and I took it to Twin Maiden Husks within the round table. So I come out here into the Three Sisters areas, guys, and we're just going to run this way now we actually have to jump down slightly i did this absolutely ages ago i'm coming back here kind of blind in regards to exactly where i gotta go so if i fall to my death i apologize hello there what are you what you got for me probably nothing yeah okay so jump down here jump down here and i think yeah, if you look over this ledge you'll see a few uh, platforms you can drop down to. So you drop down to this one, drop down to this one. And I do believe we go down again. Yes, we do. So if we drop that down through the roof, through the hole. Oh shit! I thought I was gonna go then. So if you drop down here, if you haven't been here before, and um, you haven't done Rani's quest line already, the vendor will be alive. You can see there he is dead. But you can see for me, he's dead. When I got here, when I met him for the first time, he was dead. So I grabbed this bar bearing. But either way, guys, clear out his dialogue. Uh, if he's here for you alive, you'll get uh, this. Um, well, you'll get all, what you can buy all this, what you can see on the screen now. This will be his inventory. You can buy all this. But like I said, guys, grab his bar bearing. Head to the Twin Maiden Husks, which we'll do together. And I'll show you, well, exactly what you can buy. I'll build all this shit. I'll buy everything from all the bar bearings, to be honest. Um... Yeah, it's just a habit of mine. I will farm my ass off just for those runes to buy a thing. So yes, come to the Twin Maiden Husks with the bow bearing. Then offer the Twin Maiden Husks the bow bearing. Um, offer bow bearing. I don't think I've got any to offer, but yeah, you do that. And I think it's shop two. There we go. And you'll see you'll be able to buy all of his inventory, including the Ripple Blade. This is where you get it from. And there we have it, guys the ripple blade and the other big old dirty weapon i'm using right here the ripple crescent halberd that's how you get both of them both s tier scaling arcane weapons guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more Elden ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my value tier four people i will see you on that next one